Good evening, Kingston. everyone doing out there? You okay? Well, thank you for all coming for our album launch week. Uh, Black Red is out tomorrow officially, so uh, thank you to everyone that's bought a copy. If you haven't, you can still buy a copy. And it's a double album. 
We're gonna do a song from Black Red. This is uh, Soldiers of Love. You know, I'm feeling very naked up here without the without all the amps and the loud drums and stuff like that. But you know what? It's nice to play you these songs. They're kind of written this way on acoustic guitar, so you're hearing them in their in their rawest form. Uh, I just want to introduce the band. Obviously, bass guitar Takahiro Say.
the king of the cajon, Jeff Holroyd. Guitar vocals, Tommy Gleason, I'm Grant Nicholas. This is the actual guitar that I wrote most, most of the songs on, to be honest. But uh, if anyone's interested, it's a uh, Gibson J45, 1967. Same age as me. We haven't really got a definite set. We've only had like a few hours rehearsal. So we're just gonna have a bit of fun tonight and just keep it nice and relaxed, yeah? So we've never played this song before. It's uh, it's on the album. We've we've had to sort of shorten it a little bit because it's got lots of heavy sections and it's a bit all a bit crazy, a little bit prog rock. So we're gonna we're gonna do a very simple version of it today. So this is not the album version, okay? It's called uh, this is Submarine.
Thank you, cheers. Don't hear a pin drop in here. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? You alright? Not not used to hearing this this quiet. Let's chill down. Let's try something you might go like you guys know.
In fact, actually, when we did it in, in the rehearsal room, we thought it sounded a bit like a country and western song. I never really thought that when I wrote it, but actually, when you strip it down, it is a bit like a country and western song. And I'm thinking, that's quite a big market in America, isn't it? If we can get someone to cover this, I'm going to be quids in. <laughs> Garth Brooks, yeah, there you go. If he does this one in his country style, yeah? Me and Saka can buy ourselves some new cars and big, bigger house. You probably won't think it sounds a tall country now, I've said that, but we're kind of dead. This is the knock.
I've started something. Here. So I know it's a stripped back acoustic vibe, but listen, are you up for a bit of singing with me tonight? You gonna? Yeah, we we did this song on the tour, and it was uh, it was amazing every night. And I know you're gonna feel a bit uncomfortable, but if you're up for a bit of singing, it would really help me out. Should we just see? If, this is a uh, lot. I know you know this song. This is our new single. It's called Hey You. Just, just have a little practice to see if you're going to do it, yeah? Don't look scared. Big Pete's going to do it. let have a little, let's see how it goes. We'll, we'll just have a little rehearsal before we start. Yeah. Oh! with me, you sing with me, yeah? Let's try this. This is Hey You.
Great, thank you. That becomes a bit of a jam.
people out there came to see us on the uh, Black Red Tour. Yeah? Is that all? Is that all? Like four people in the whole room? Seriously? How many people came to see us on the Black Red Tour? Oh, I'm surprised by that. Well, at least you're here tonight, that's fine. And it's sold out. And you're all going to buy a copy of the album as well, which makes me so happy. Try this acoustically. This is ELF. Um, 
This song goes out to uh, Sam Kennedy. She couldn't be here tonight. She's really ill, and her friend contacted me. Is it Ellie or somebody? Is she out there? I don't know. But uh, th this song goes out to her, and hopefully, if anyone's videoed this, um, oh, there she is. This is for you. And also, you have my lovely wife, who's over there somewhere. And the, and the reason why I've mentioned her is because I remember playing this song to her for the first time in my flat in Camden. And, uh, and I played it to her and she started crying. <laughs> yeah. Kind of. And I'm, you know, not sort of starting to get tears in her eyes. Yeah, I'm sorry to embarrass you. Know, she's like, and, uh, <laughs> and she. Uh, and I said, why are you crying? And she goes, um, she goes, oh, that song, was, she said, that's the one. Because we were really trying our best to get successful and get on radio and stuff like that. And it took us a long, long time. It was like Brit Park, we were this kind of three-piece band, heavy but catchy, whatever. Anyway, I came up with this song. It's only got four chords in it. It's so simple. And uh, she just had a great feeling about it. And it was a very important song to us. Without this song, we probably wouldn't be here now because it's true, isn't it? People talk about it. Just my own feeling about Roger's all those songs, but actually this was the one, this was like a big stepping stone for us. And then it enabled us yeah, to go to America, we signed to Electro Records, we toured 42 states, we had a great time. All on the back of this song, so my wife was right. And we're still playing it, what, 25 years later, and it's always in the set, and this is one of those songs. And listen, guys, you've been amazing. This, this is our last song. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, we've got to go to Scotland when we were flying up to do an install there, so we've got to go after this. But listen, thank you so much. Uh, please get a copy of the album. Trust me, you'll like it. There'll be a song on there for all of you. I know you know the words here to this one, so sing with me. Once again, thank you uh, to uh, Banquet Records. And uh, thank you to all you guys for coming. It really means a lot. Thank you so much.